Good morning, adventurers. We are here in Disney Springs. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be the only Christmas video we get out this year because the park reservations are extremely difficult to get. And uh, now we're in the blackout dates. So, but we're down here. We're gonna check out some uh, the Christmas tree decorations. Uh, they are not doing the Christmas tree trail. However, they do have Christmas trees um, around Disney Springs spread out. So we parked at the uh, Orange Garage and coming down the stairs, the first uh, of the Christmas trees uh, trail sort of that we came across is the Star Wars tree. I love this thing. It's got the Porgs and the Jawas and the lightsaber on top. It's so awesome. And over on the other side of the tree, there's, I see Chewbacca's bandolier the stormtrooper decorations. Like it's not. So, okay, so they're calling it not, it's not the, the trail, it's the tree yeah. scroll this year. And the trees are all over Disney Springs, so you gotta keep an eye out. And over here they have uh, the, uh, oh, what is it called? The, the Instagram board for uh, Soul. That'll be streaming on December 25th. I have not heard anything, uh, whether it's like a premium access pay or if it's free, I'm not sure. They haven't said anything, so I think it might be free. On Disney Plus, on Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to us. And here is the next tree that we found on our stroll through Disney Springs. And it is a Mulan tree, I love it. That's pretty. I don't it think they is. had that one last year. I, they did have a Mulan tree oh, last year. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how it looked, if it looked the same or not, but I love the jasmine strung Ooh. through it. It's so pretty. And there's a Mushu decoration. And all the paper lanterns and the fans on the tree. Oh, and on the top there is like a, a Chinese kite of a dragon. That's awesome. Like yeah, we're gonna go in the Disney style store and check out some uh, Christmas merch. We really haven't seen much Christmas merch this year because we just haven't gotten to uh, we haven't gotten to the parks. And the balloon is up. I know that's been uh, down for quite a while. So love the decorations. Uh, unfortunately, we we did have Disney park reservations planned for like a couple weeks ago but we all ended up getting sick it wasn't corona we got tested but you know it was still the flu and we didn't feel like going oh and they got some nice black and white mickey merch here lounge fly packs ears and a spirit jersey i like that spirit jersey with the the plaid and red and these are neat little christmas light up ears and here's all the wishes come true blue merchandise Rocks, hats, spirit jerseys, backpacks. Very nice. Bah, humbug. Three good fairies. Beauty, song, and sleep. That's nice. I like that. That's really cute. That's new. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, they got a shirt over here with all the, the dwarves on it. Grumpy, bashful, sleepy, happy, sneezy, dopey, and doc. My teacher has these ears. And they, they do have some new face masks in here. I don't know what it's not what it's supposed to say. I can't tell. I think it's never underestimate a princess. I like this a lot. Oh yeah, nice. It's like perfect for this time of year. And I don't know what happened, but the price on the masks went way, way up. They're now ten dollars each. Yeah, they were six before. Yeah, it was like six or like three for twenty or four for twenty before. So I feel like these are new ears I have not seen before. It's like a velvety blue with a, a sequin bow. I don't think I've seen those around anywhere. Oh yeah, the Christmas masks. I feel, are these the same they're spirit, price? Yeah, they're spirit jersey material. Oh, spirit jersey masks. Yeah. I don't... I think yeah. they're all the same. I think are they the same price? Uh, so it says that uh, it's 30% off of all holiday headwear, apparel, and toys. That's great. That's a good deal. And they got the uh, the holiday ears here. I love the gingerbread ones. Yeah, you like those sequins with the peppermint? Those are nice. Yeah, and they have some uh, animal merchandise. They got a new spirit jersey and a lounge fly pack with all the 
Disney animals, a lot of the Cinderella birds, Fox and the Hound, and uh, I don't remember the name of the raccoon from Pocahontas. They got that for in, in the stretchy pants, the spirit jersey. Nice stuff. Oh, I like these Sorcerer Mickey socks. These are cute. Novelty socks, $10 each when you buy two. Oh, okay, regular $14.99. So we're gonna head down towards the uh, old Cirque du Soleil pavilion. Uh, it looks like Marvel doesn't have a line. Oh yeah, the uh, little snow uh, bubble, the Snope makers. Oh, okay, and there's a little uh, brochure here for the uh, Christmas tree stroll. Let's see what it says. Oh, okay, so inside here, they, they show you the location of all the trees and they give you stickers to show, to mark when you've uh, completed it. And that's pretty cool. They have some nice Marvel shirts here. You got Black Panther, that's awesome. And, oh, heroes with capes. No, not all heroes have capes. Nice. Look at Except Thor, excuse me, <laughs> yeah. That's cute. That's funny. Oh, I love that. There's a shirt here that says, I love you 3,000. I was so sad at the end of the Marvel movie. Oh, they got some neat dresses over here and jackets. Wow. Did you see the Black Widow jacket? Yeah, a little, little kid's Black Widow jacket. That's neat. I'm kind of disappointed. I have not heard anything about what they are doing with the Black Widow movie. They seem to just be keeping it on hold until I think they're waiting for the theaters to open back up. Because it was it was scheduled for, I believe, dis beginning of December, and then it just disappeared. And it, they, they definitely are not putting it straight to Disney+. Plus. They got a little uh, interactive Groot here. It plugs into a USB. I wonder if you like plug him into your computer and he, he dances? to songs maybe, I don't know. Oh no, he, okay, he recognizes and responds back to 20 spoken phrases and sounds and music and movements. So yeah, I guess he does dance a little. That's kind of neat. $40, it's not a bad price. They got a display here of some of the holiday treats, wow. Oh, I like that gingerbread cookie with the Mickey. Mmm, that looks delicious. So they, they do have access to the uh, treat case, like blocked off. You can barely uh, see the stuff in there. Although they do have uh, a chart out front that'll show you everything that's available. I'll get a shot of that. Look at that giant Christmas cookie there. That's nice. So here's the uh, chart of the Christmas treats available. I got the apples. The Mickey Mouse gingerbread cookie looks delicious. A giant sugar cookie Santa Mickey. They got the Rice Krispies, some cupcakes. Oh yeah, no, the, the marshmallow Mickey Pops. Ooh, I want a peppermint. A peppermint Mi Mar Mickey Mouse? Yep, and they have a, a pecan pie ri crisp rice cereal treat. And we did try back in uh, November, or Halloween, they had a uh, pumpkin pie flavored one that I tried. It was not, I mean, it was okay, but it was not that great. Here's another one of the trees. This is the Lion King. Really neat with Simba oh, like on the, the top. top. I love that. All the all animal masks. That's a great tree. And right, right over there, that's uh, Frozen. It's gotta be. Is it? Gotta be Frozen. Oh, yeah, right outside of Haleo. There's a... Uh, a frozen Christmas tree. I see ice skates. Yeah, carrots on the top. That's got to be a frozen tree. Yeah, that's cute. I see a reindeer. Yeah, there's a reindeer. Yeah, I like I like it because it's not specifically frozen. I don't see a whole lot of like uh, like Elsa yeah, on a decoration. A so on you know, you just kind of have to. Uh, it's implied that it's frozen. So I like that. I like the the decoration. Yeah, it says inspired by frozen. Yeah, inspired. Some people are worth melting for. Now, last time we were down here, Haleo was still closed from the Corona. Uh, a lot of stuff was still closed, in all in all fairness. Um, and I'm wondering, I'm curious to know if they have opened up yet. Oh, no, it says, sorry, we're closed. So they are still... Well, this is the, the quick serve. Oh, okay. So I don't know why the main restaurant would be open and the quick serve would be closed. So yeah, I think Haleo is still closed, unfortunately. 
I was I was kind of under the impression that most stuff was back open, but I guess I'm wrong. Coming soon, M and M. Oh, Christmas tree stroll redemption location. I wonder what you redeem. I guess I didn't read far enough onto that uh, booklet. <laughs> <clears throat> but here is our, our favorite Christmas tree. It's the haunted mansion with the bride. I love I love decorations on this. How they they look very old and decrepit. Yeah, and the, the bride is, is looking quite dirty. I don't know. I think uh, they, they need some... Yeah, her thing is ripped. That's probably the wind out here. They probably need to replace that. But yeah. And they got the tombstone for Sweet Leota. <clears throat> and there is one of the uh, hitchhiking ghost ornaments. I love that. Here's another Christmas tree. This is inspired by the Disney park. You can see the, the monorail on the tree right there. For example, that's the, the Chinese theater, right? Um, I think that's, no, I think that's supposed to be Tower of Terror. Is it? Isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. A Tower of Terror. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't see any kind of like Chinese. And I see the, the Magic Kingdom Castle. Earth is over there. Yep, there's the Spaceship Earth on the, yeah. I, I like the special ornaments that they have this year for. That's that's very nice. I love oh, that Mickey. Oh, and there's uh, the Tree of Life too. Yeah, and Cirque du Soleil is still closed. I think they're closed permanently. I don't know what's going in there or if they're just changing the Cirque. I, I don't know. I thought I heard that they were going bankrupt or something. Yeah, I, I think I heard that whatever was there was going bankrupt. Stop. Right. And I don't know Stop if they're just going to do, if they're going to keep the name Cirque du Soleil and they're just going to put in another show or, or what the deal is. But I don't think they've announced anything at all. So the line to the Star Wars uh, store went down. So we're going to take a step in here. They got the uh, child. Carry, oh, you can carry them around in your bag. That's funny. I, uh, yeah, here's all the uh, the child merchandise. They got the spirit jerseys, the cups, coffee cups, tumblers. Oh, and they got the, the masks, too. They got a Darth Vader mask, the child. Shoulder pads, shoulder pads. Cute. Yep, the shoulder child. Oh, yeah, can't come into the Star Wars store without having a duel. <laughs> Whoa, careful. Oh, you like Santa? Uh oh. Careful. Oh, yeah, they have a, a nice Star Wars Santa, like Star Christmas Wars Santa. Santa, Christmas hat for. Uh... Hey, Megan, imagine Darth Vader. Yep. Neat. Yeah. Oh my God. Look, that is twenty nine ninety nine. And they got some holiday porgs. Christmas porgs. Christmas porgs. And we're coming up to our next Christmas tree for the stroll. Fant. Asia. Yeah, there's a sorcerer Mickey hat up on top, the water buckets. I like that. Yeah, I like the, the little crystal ornaments. Those are beautiful. And the musical notes. The buckets. Oh, I get it. Okay, so little, the, 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 the clear plastic ones are supposed to look like soap bubbles from the, from the, the buckets, the brooms and the buckets. That's funny. And the little mushrooms. I love that. Now we're walking by all the restaurants here, so STK is open. I don't know if Marie and Enzo's. I'm sure that they are. I, I think. Hours. A lot of the things don't open until noon. Right. A lot of the stuff doesn't open till noon, so it's very difficult to tell what's open and what's not right now. I think Marie and Enzo's is open. So considering the fact that we got here at opening, it is very busy in Disney Springs. I mean, I, yeah, there's a line for the chocolate shop. I mean, granted it is like the week before Christmas, so we did expect it to be a bit busy. Yeah, the last weekend before The last weekend before Christmas. So, I don't, I don't know. I just didn't think people were gonna come running out at opening to come down here. <clears throat> I, hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll get like really busy later. Maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe this is the light time to come. Oh, Gideon's Bakehouse is going in here. Oh, not nice. those cookies look awesome. Wow. I would definitely try that. A little chocolate. It looks like there's salt on it. And the white. I'm wow. I'm excited for that. That would be awesome. 
beautiful here. Yeah, I like the decorations. Just everything's all decorated up. And that is, what is that? That is Wine Bar George. A Wine Bar George, yeah. So I knew that was open. And I feel like Jack Lindsay's hangar bar is open. I see the door is open, so it must be, yeah, they are. Love the music here. Holiday near old Santa Claus. See what we could see. Mmm, that smells good coming out of the artisanal gelato place. Yeah, I think this is relatively new as well. I smell I smell the waffle cones. And then the, the boathouse is open. Oh, Joffrey's coffee house. That looks good. Lion's latte. Mmm, no. No, I'm all set. I had enough coffee this morning. Yeah, okay. White chocolate and coconut. It does sound oh, good, though. Sassy. Sassy says he wants to try it. Yeah, of course he does. I try it. I like the decorations on the boathouse there. They've got the ship wheels and anchors in the, uh, the garland. That's awesome. And then they have snowmen out here made from, uh, I don't know, uh, buoys. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, outside the, uh, the bakery here, they got garland with like old-fashioned cookie cutters in it that's really neat fountain and here is cooks of dublin now, i'm pretty sure i think i've heard that they are open i believe uh, I, don't know. I do i see somebody in there prepping stuff they don't open until noon i, I think yeah. so we're, we're a little early we're not quite sure where we're going to eat for lunch today raglan road i hear that one's also open that burger looks amazing Brills Burger Drapery and Gifts. <laughs> Not sure what would be in a drapery and gifts looks like it's store. All, looks like it's all like Irish. Oh, okay. So it's like a, a Raglan Road uh, gift shop. Yep, and the, the Raglan Road is currently open for brunch right now. So they got brunch stuff, pork hash, eggs Benedict. Lobster Club, hmm. Worth the wait beef sandwich, wow. Now we're, we're heading over the bridge here. And you look over the water, they got the, the little decorations floating through. I, I wonder, do they do they have these out all, all year round or are those supposed to be like Christmas ornament buoys? I'm not sure. They kind of look like sea glass. Kind of, kind of looks like sea glass ornaments, but I just don't remember if they were out there before or not. Here, here's the uh, town center Christmas tree that they always have up. That is a big tree. I like the. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but there there are twinkling little lights on the tree. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be here for nighttime to get a look at the, how, how everything is lit up because they they do light up the palm trees and everything. It's really pretty. Now the polite pig is open. We have eaten there before, and it was it was really good. But they put a very heavy smoke on everything. Uh, which I gotta be honest, kind of messed with my stomach a little bit. Tasted really good going down though. So Amaret is open and they got all kinds of holiday season collection desserts. It look really good. We are going to attempt to get into World of Disney. I'm expecting this to be the real hot spot around here. And considering the fact we've seen lines at other minor stores, uh, I think we're probably gonna end up waiting. Or, or you know what, I think they have a virtual queue where you put in your name and they'll text you when there is an opening. At least that was how they were doing it at the beginning of Corona. I'm sure that they're still doing that now. On our way around the world of Disney, we found another one of the trees. This is uh, Princess and the Frog. I love it, all the, the purples and greens and yellows. Oh, and they got the, the special Tiana ornament. Really pretty. Oh, so over at Waterside Stage, they got uh, a DJ up there playing some uh, music. Uh, you gotta keep going around. So all, all of the entrances say exit only. We're, we're still trying to find the main entrance where they'll let us in. And I would imagine, I think this is probably where they're gonna, nope, it says exit only, dang. Where is the entrance, man? Oh, uh, so this is the virtual queue. Yeah. All right, so it says entrance this way. I think the entrance to the virtual queue. Yeah. Now, they, they got the line starting out here towards the parking lot. 
And, and there is a line. Oh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minute line. All right, I guess that's not bad. Yeah, they're expecting quite a wait. So they got the, the line is looping out. Uh, so I thought we were almost there, but no, apparently the line keeps going all the way around the Lime Garage. Oh, geez. Oh, so we made it. It, it wasn't even 20 minutes. It was more like seven. It was eight minutes. Love the decorations. I'm, I'm happy. I was I was going to go in and check out like the uh, the the area that's usually like Pixar stuff, but uh, <laughs> uh, this is actually where they have the line for the checkout zigzagging through the store. A little crazy. And of course, I gotta stop over here at the Thomas Kincaid puzzles. I love these. I love Thomas Kincaid. I love his drawings. They have. I'm not sure if I've seen this one before, but I like it. It is the Pirates of the Caribbean. That is awesome. And of course they have the castle with the fireworks, which I'm missing so badly. I, I want to see these. fireworks. I like these spirit jerseys here with like the iridescent uh, patches on it. Alright, what's the difference between a spirit jersey and a sweatshirt it's then? It's just the pattern. It's the, oh, it has like a line and then it has the big letters on the back. That's oh, so it has to say Walt Disney World on the back of it, otherwise it's not a spirit jersey? Got you. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's still a sweater. I like this one too with the with the red Mickeys. Let's see. Is it spirit? Nope, not spirit, but still very neat. Oh, over here in the kitchen section, they have this really cool uh, Oogie Boogie Nutcracker. I love it. That is probably the best Christmas decoration I've seen. And over here they have the collection of uh, Mickey Mouse or Disney plates and cups and serving. It's nice. I, it's black and white and it's very uh, contemporary looking. Although I gotta be honest, if you're gonna, sp I'm gonna spend like that much money on plates and uh, Disney um, serving stuff. I kind of want it to be more in your face. Obviously Disney. Uh, like the ink and paint collection, which I really like. Uh, it looks like all the 2020 merch is gone. Uh, they did, they had it, I believe it was buy one, get one free a while back. And now everything is 2021. I like those, I like that kids clothing section here. It's nice stuff. I like these coffee cups for 2021. These are nice. Uh, $14.99. And here's the boys 2020, uh, 2021 merchandise. The kids shirts, I like all that. That's really nice stuff. Yep, and they got the 2021 Christmas ornaments out already. Neat, neat stuff. Yep, oh, I see a Christmas, one of the, one of the Mickey balls. Okay, there's a Mickey on top. Yeah, I like that, that's He's nice. Really that's good. Usually they don't have the Mickey. Usually it's just the ball with the decoration. Now they got the Mickey on top. I like that. It's a nice addition. All right, now we're going to head into the Christmas section of the Disney store. Let's see. Oh, I like that jacket. Let's see. Oh, they got some Christmas ornaments. I like those stockings. And a little cookie plate. That's neat. Tiki. Oh, it's all 30% off? Nice. They're holiday. They're over there with the sign. Uh, apparel, tabletop, and plush toys, I guess. I like those little, these are little wind-up music box trees. And they got the train on it, small world, and the tiki bird room. And it's playing Oh Christmas Tree. And I believe, I believe all holiday merchandise is 30% off right now. Yeah, I want this. Plus we'll probably get another 20% 20 20 off for being no, uh, annual pass holders. I like that little tabletop decoration that's there with the cute. Christmas and the ducks. Oh, that's, no, that's expensive. That is $64.99. It's cute though, I like it. Oh, and here is a, here is a Mickey Nutcracker. Hey, honey. Although, 
doesn't really crack nuts. I don't see anywhere where they nothing nothing opens. Yeah, it's just for decoration, but it's supposed to be a Mickey Nutcracker. We got these green spirit jerseys with the plaid. Those are nice. I like that. They only have it in extra. Oh, limited limited sizes because it's end of the year, unfortunately. These are neat little slipper socks. The sequins. It looks like oh yeah, they they flip. So you can go green or you can go red. That's neat. I like that. Oh, they even have a little Christmas time forky. Sporky. Fork. Is it forky or is it sporky? I don't remember. He's holding a candy cane. That's cute. Oh, I like these little wall hanger. Oh, that's really pretty. Like I don't I don't even know what they're what you would call them or like door hangers. I don't know. Where where would you put one of these? Let's see. Not a toy. Decorative. Sixty dollars. Really? Yeah. Well, it's uh thirty percent off, so and it says it lights up. I don't know how you would turn it on though. Oh wait. Looks like there's a little switch in the back. No batteries though, so I couldn't I can't show you what it's supposed to light. But it does it looks like I see little tiny LEDs in like the windows and around the castle. I feel little bumps here, so I feel like it it must light up pretty well. It's cute though, I like that. A little expensive. Oh, and here's this year's tree skirt. Woo. But it looks like it's uh, it's got a Mickey. Actually, it looks like it's got multiple characters, yep. It's got a full sleigh of the uh, Mickey, Donald, Pluto, Goofy, and Minnie being pulled by a reindeer. That's really cute. Wow, and I haven't seen these before. Here's some like Sorcerer Mickey ears. Those are really cute. I like that. So it is getting mighty busy in here now. So, so my son has been dying to get a bubble blower machine from Disney. And he saw this and he really wanted the snow making one. So here it is in action. It kind of looks like the snow, but it's just really teeny tiny bubbles. It's cute, it's... It's neat, it's a neat idea, I like it. So we're, we're entering into Marketplace Co-op. I gotta be honest, usually we go to uh, the world of Disney and that's as far as we make it. We get too tired and we turn around and head back in the other direction. So I really don't know what we're gonna find in here. Although I do see a whole bunch of Disney ornaments. Oh, I like those. Oh, and Chip and Dale, those are nice ornaments. Top of the naughty list. And they have all kinds, they have the, all the uh, kitchenware stuff in here too. I like this stuff, this is very, um, I don't know, 1950s looking kind of uh, Disney flatware uh, plates. They also have like an art section in here. Some really nice stuff. I like that Dumbo, uh, not Dumbo, sorry. Dopey painting there, it's very cute. And then they even have some like old ride posters or art, I'm not sure. Swiss Family Treehouse, I like that. Kitchen Cabaret, I love that show. I'm so sad that that's gone. They got some Frozen art here, those are really nice. I like that. And then, oh, that Alice in Wonderland, I like that a lot. Yeah, you like the Rapunzel? That is neat with her doing her little art drawing. That's a nice picture. Oh, an orange bird. That's cute. So it looks like paddlefish is open. I see people eating up on the top deck there. Uh, we are on the lookout right now for some lunch. We're trying to decide. Uh, we, The kids and Star feel like burgers. So we're thinking maybe deluxe burger. So we decided to stop here and eat at Cooks of Dublin. This is the... Uh, quick serve for Raglan Road. The seating is outdoors. I, I don't know. There was a little there bit, in there, a little but bit inside, but it was full. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's usually kind of more. Too, yeah, right? it was very, very close inside. So um, I think they're they're moving most people outside. Uh, for, you know, fortunately it's mid-December and uh, not the weather is uh, perfect for eating outside. It's also very nice over here. I like it. Mm, so this looks good. All right, I got the um, barbecue dream burger. We've got a giant onion ring on there, which is awesome. 
and they're using Irish cheese, which I've never, I don't know what the difference is. I've never tried that before. Both kids got the uh, kids' cheeseburgers, which actually were, look really good. Um, also with the Irish cheese. And Star got a fish and chips. Mm -hmm. So the real question is, is this one better or Rosen Crown? Should you come here or go to Epcot? We'll find out. So my burger was very good. The barbecue sauce was delicious. <laughs> the only thing I have to say is the meat patty was kind of thin. But the onion ring was huge, which was awesome. And Star says that the fish is good, but Rosen Crown is better. So if you want, if you want, that's that's our opinion. If you want the better fish and chips, go to Rosen Crown. Looks like they've added to their Star Wars Lego oh, sculptures out here in front of uh, the Lego shop. They got Kylo Ren, the Red Stormtrooper. Neat. Here's another one of the trees on the uh, stroll. That is the Toy Story tree. I love those paper link looking garland. See the popcorn stand here has some of the uh, holiday buckets available. Very neat. Uh, as the day goes on, it just keeps getting busier and busier. And the, the tough part is with uh, Disney Springs is I don't think anybody is monitoring how many people are in the mall. I don't think. I mean, I suppose they could be, but uh, it didn't seem like anyone was counting. Especially around World of Disney. It was extremely crowded and social distancing is near impossible. So here's another one of the trees on the scroll. This one is inspired by Pluto. You can see his uh, dog bowls and the bone and uh, Pluto's collar. That's cute, the little dog house on the top, that's neat. And then right next to it is a Mickey and Minnie Mouse inspired tree. Looks like it's mostly inspired by Minnie Mouse, but <laughs> it's got the bows and the polka dots all over it and in the yellow and red colors. Oh, and a little bit of black too. See a little black ball there. That's nice. All right, so our last stop for the trip is going to be at the Candy Cauldron. We haven't had any Christmas snacks this year at all, so we gotta get something. All right, so we probably overdid it just a little bit on the treats, but we haven't had any, so I needed some. And gingerbread is one of my favorite cookies. But the giant sugar cookie, which there's a huge size difference between the gingerbread and the sugar, um, looked really good. So I wanted to give this a try. I'm gonna start with this. So the sugar cookie is okay. Um, I think oh it's the, the chocolate covering um, makes it a little bit hard. But I mean, the sugar, the cookie itself um, could be a little bit softer, and uh, it's not very sweet. Like it's not, like it's not like a real sugar cookie. It's more of a, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's it's not like a, a sweet sugar cookie, but that's okay because it's covered in chocolate. So <laughs> now let's try some gingerbread. It's good. The gingerbread is good. Mm, yes. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Yeah. He let me try some of his. Gingerbread is definitely like my favorite. Star decided to get uh, was that's a rice, rice crispy Mickey. That thing is just covered with sugar. And what is that? A marshmallow on the front. Yeah. So that looks super sweet. And then you also had uh, what was it, the marshmallow pop? Mm -hmm. And uh, she ate that one already. But uh, was it? It was good. It was good. It was good. It would have been better if it was peppermint, but right. Yeah, they were all out of the peppermint one, so it was just plain white chocolate. Yeah, but it was good though. Yeah. But we had a really nice day at the Springs. I'm kind. Of, I'm. I'm. I'm very disappointed that we we didn't get to see any of the usual Christmas decorations at the parks. Um, we didn't even go to any of the hotels this holiday season to see like the hotel trees, um, which I, I don't know if they were really, I know they were definitely not doing the gingerbread houses this year, and I don't know if they were really making such a big deal out of the trees at the resorts um, either. So, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. This has been a very strange holiday season, um, but hopefully next year will be better. 
But that will be all from us today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now it's your turn. Come on down, join the adventure, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.